back with a new different video um today it is the FC Dallas FIFA 22 ratings and in comparison with FIFA 21 got my laptop right here right on my knee and um yeah let's get started and um before we do y'all might be like yo why do you got a emoji on it's because we're gonna show my face in five four three two y'all really thought i was gonna show my face ah uh, ah uh, bro you got me messed up i'm not gonna show my face this is my face y'all gonna see this get me to um 300 <laughs> all right all right so um all right, we move on from there. Go in here for the um, FC Dallas FIFA 21 ro um, rating, the roster, and FIFA 22. Is it, their team is a three star in FIFA 22. I, they're attacking over here in FIFA 22 is 67. They're attacking in FIFA 21 is 70. Their midfield is 70. Their midfield in 21 is 71. And their defense is 68 on FIFA 22. And their defense in FIFA 21 is 67. Also, disclaimer, before we start reading the the players' is com um the players' is overall and stuff, this is not the full um the full um predictions, you right? It's not the ratings are not final, you know. FIFA is still developing their MLS, I'm pretty sure they're just gonna copy and paste the MLS from FIFA 21. But um we're going on from there and over here the first player the first player ever is Jimmy Mallard aka Papa Bear as FC Dallas calls him. So in FIFA 22 his rating his overall rating is 68 and his potential is 68. And in FIFA 21, it is 65. And his potential is 65. So overall, a good upgrade, in my opinion, that is accepted because he did he does play pretty pretty well. And the second player here is Ryan Hollahead. Hollenhead. So um if I could find him, here he is. His rating in FIFA 22 is 71, his potential 71, and in FIFA 21 it's 70 overall, 70 potential. Another upgrade, and I accept that. Matt Hedges, on the other hand, you know, he's been there for the FC Dallas I think since 2012. Um, but his overall and his potential is the same, 72. Overall 72 potential for both FIFA 21 and 22. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same. I think it's gonna stay like that and in, in the final product. Brisson here, the Brazilian, it's overall 69, 70 potential in FIFA 22. Here in FIFA 21, it is 69 overall 71 potential. And I gotta say, the defense right here is better than what it was last season. Of course, we're I think we're in 8th or 7th. But we need a couple more games to make it to the playoffs. And I know there's this one kid in the Discord. If you want to join, link in the description below. Um, He's like, oh, if he does, ain't going to make it. And I said, get right, kid. Look where they're at now. And John Nielsen, the left back. Um... Where is he? John Nelson. These people are are fight order. 60 overall, 70, 69 potential. Right? And FIFA 22. And FIFA 21, his rating is 58, 67, um, yeah, 67 potential. An upgrade again. And okay. This is where this name it gets hard to pronounce. 
Facundo Quinn John. Quinn. I don't know. He's Argentinian. He's a CDM. He got bought this season for FC Dallas during the um, summer transfer window. And he's pretty much the same. 64, 65 over um, potential. 64 overall. FIFA 22. And FIFA 21, I think he is 65. So I think he went down. But he's soon going to go up. He's, he, he's, he's good at defending, so. Brian Acosta, the second, the midfield right here. Let me tell you, this man right here has lost potential, and it sucks. But he's got, he because I think he's injured. But um, 71 overall in 71 overall FIFA 22, and his potential 71 overall FIFA 21. He's 71 overall, 72 potential. So you can see the downgrade that happened. Um, over here, O'Brien. Um, he's another man who's I think recently got bought on FIFA. I mean on FIFA for the FC Dallas. And um, is he here? Uh, oh no, he's not here. His overall is the same though, 68. Overall, 69 potential. You know, it's the same. Not a bad, bad deal in my opinion. This man, he's just too good. And FIFA 22, 69 overall, 82 potential. And in FIFA 21, he's 68 overall, 81 potential. And I personally used them on FIFA 21 before, and I got into a 90 rated before. You just gotta use him a lot, um, but he's he's that good actually in real life and on game. And Andres Recorte, the highest rating for the FC Dallas as a player, 74 overall, 74 potential. He went down, but on FIFA 21, he is 75 overall, 75 potential. And in real life, he hasn't been doing a lot, and you know. I, I gotta accept it. I gotta accept it. You know, um, I can't. I can't be biased saying, "Oh, this should be like this, this should be like that." I'm not like that. Um, and this is Real Madrid. Technically, Man United is the best club in history. Oh, who said that, bro? But we're getting into this man, the guy from El Paso, Texas. This, the Choo Choo Train, Ricardo Pepe. He is 60 overall. And FIFA 22, 78 potential here in FIFA 22. And in FIFA 21, he is 53 rated, 76 potential. And I gotta say, that's the biggest upgrade for this man. He's been called up for the MLS All-Star game as well. Him and Raul, Rui Diaz, they're gonna score left and right. And Liga Man, he's gonna lose. That's, that's all I gotta say, that's all I gotta say. But that is the final people of the ratings of course there are more players for the fc dallas but i don't want to get all into it because um there are mainly subs and the people want care more about the starting players like the ones i just mentioned and um yeah they're gonna they're playing Perry well in real life right now. But um yeah guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. But before I sign out, hear this out. It is the real face reveal right here, right now. Here we go!